winds, storms and cyclones. Introduction Moving air is called wind. There are various forms of wind. Storms can be of various forms like dust storms, andhi, kal baisakhi or lu. These are generally accompanied by thunder, lightning and torrential rains. Cyclones generally hit the eastern coast of India every year and cause a lot of damage to life and property. Whether it is Lu, Kal Baisakhi or Cyclone, all of them have one thing in common and that is high speed wind. The formation of wind The main cause behind the formation of wind is the heat of the sun. When the sun heats, the different parts of the earth and the heat is unevenly distributed, then wind is caused. Air expands on heating and it becomes lighter. This light air rises up. The cool, heavy air rushes to take its position. This moving air is what we call wind. When the speed of moving air is slow, it is called breeze. And if it is high, it is called storm. The direction of wind is determined by a wind vane. The speed of the wind is determined by an anemometer. Anemometers are of two types, cup anemometer and propeller anemometer. Air pressure. Air is a form of matter and just like any other form of matter, air also has weight and exerts pressure. The pressure exerted by air depends on height and temperature of that place. Variation in temperature causes variation in pressure, which in return causes occurrence of wind. The areas with low pressure are said lows, whereas areas with high pressure are said highs. Low pressure areas have wet and cloudy weather, whereas high pressure areas have dry and sunny weather. The air pressure of a place is determined with the help of a barometer. Take a glass and fill it with water up to its brim. Place a piece of cardboard on the top of the glass. Now, holding the cardboard in place, turn the glass upside down away from the cardboard. We can observe that it is air pressure which pushes the cardboard from below. This keeps the water in the glass. Take a tin can with a lid and half fill it with water. Heat the can till the water boils. Immediately, put the lid tightly on the can. Put the can in a wash basin and pour cold water over it. You will find that the can gets crushed from all sides. It happens because as the water boils, steam is given out and it pushes most of the air out of the can. When you screw the cap onto the can, and pour cold water over it, it causes the steam to condense, creating a partial vacuum inside the can. As a result, the can gets crushed because air pressure outside it is much greater. The two activities clearly show how much force can be generated by creating a difference in air pressure. We experience air pressure in our daily activities. For example, we find it difficult to ride a bicycle or row a boat against the wind but it is easier in the direction of the wind. The wind coming from the back helps in flying the kite. We have to fill air into the bicycle tube to keep it tight but an overfilled air tube may burst because of air pressure. All these experiences show that air exerts pressure. High speed wind Wind is the horizontal movement of air. Wind at a high speed could lead to thunderstorms, cyclones, tornadoes, typhoons or storms. Thunderstorms Thunderstorms develop when warm, humid air near the ground receives an initial upward push from converging surface winds and rises rapidly in an unstable atmosphere. The main conditions for the occurrence of thunderstorm are Moisture It is lower and mid-level of the atmosphere. Unstable air The air will continue rising once it starts rising from the surface of the earth. Lifting force Something that could lift up air is referred to as the lifting force. The rise in temperature is an important lifting force. When all these conditions are present, humid air rises high into the sky and when it cools, it condenses into towering clouds forming thunderstorms. The air rising into a thunderstorm is called an updrift. Tornadoes A tornado is a column of air rotating violently and extending from the surface of the earth to a thunder cloud. When a rising column of hot air meets a horizontal column of cold air, a tornado is formed. Air gets sucked up 
and high speed air spirals around it tornado is also referred to as a twister or whirlwind a tornado caused over a sea is very devastating it is often referred to as a water spout cyclones a cyclone is a storm or system of winds that rotates around a center of low atmospheric pressure i an anti cyclone is a system of winds that rotates around a center of high atmospheric pressure distinctive weather patterns tend to be associated with both cyclone and anti cyclone cyclones commonly known as lows are generally indicators of rain clouds and other forms of bad weather anti cyclone commonly known as highs are predictors of fair weather winds in a cyclone blow counter clockwise in northern hemisphere and clockwise in southern hemisphere winds in an anti cyclone blow just the opposite the whole coastline of india is vulnerable to cyclones particularly the east coast the west coast of india is less vulnerable to cyclonic storms both in terms of intensity and frequency of the cyclones a hurricane is the name given to a cyclone in western atlantic and eastern pacific typhoon is the name given to a cyclone in western pacific the region where air pressure is high is called anti cyclone whereas the region where air pressure is low is called depression wind currents wind currents are generated due to uneven heating of the earth they are generated due to two situations uneven heating between the equator and poles the regions close to equator get maximum heat from the sun the air in these regions becomes warm and rises producing a low pressure region as a result the cooler air from either side of the equator up to a latitude of about 30 degrees moves in to take its place thus winds blow from north and the south towards the equator at the poles the air is cooler than that at latitudes about 60 degrees the warm air at these latitudes rises up and the cold wind from the polar regions moves in to take its place in this way a pattern of wind circulation is set up on the earth if the earth has stood still these winds would have blown directly in the north south direction from north to south and from south to north it is due to the rotation of the earth that winds in the northern hemisphere swerve to their right and the winds in the southern hemisphere swerve to their left wind currents due to uneven heating of land and water the land and sea winds blow because the land heats up more during the day and cools down faster at night during the summer land over india becomes warmer than the sea around it this causes wind to blow from sea to land these winds come from southwest direction and bring moisture with them from the indian ocean they bring rain to almost all parts of india in winters the direction of the wind is reversed and they flow from land to sea hence they carry a little moisture and so cause small amount of rain in winter these winds are known as monsoon winds destruction caused by storms cyclones hit a major part of the world every year the speed of wind is as high as 300 kilometers per hour they strike the coastal areas and then travel landwards thereby causing a heavy destruction all along formation of storm surge is a common sight this results into sea water entering the low lying coastal areas causing severe loss of life and property continuous rainfall causes the effects of flood lightning strikes the buildings and causes fire and damages telephone and electric lines are also disrupted